Hello YouTubers and welcome to another installment of how to unlock the Russian DLC weapons fast. In the last episode I asked people to let me know in the comments down below which class they would like to see in the next episode or video because this obviously won't be a very long series but anyways they said that they wanted the support class. Now we are going to go from what I think is the easiest assignment up to the hardest. So the easiest is going to be first and then the hardest will be last. So the support class weapons that were released with the Russian DLC are the Perino 1908 LMG and the Parabellum MG1417, each with two different variants. Now without further ado, let's get the video started. Now the first weapon I want to show you guys how to unlock is the Perino Model 1908 Low Weight. The assignment for this unlock requires you to get 40 kills with the MG15 low weight and in a round perform 10 squad resupplies. Now, now what I've found was the easiest way to do this assignment is going to a highly clustered map with like a lot of infantry players. Just join a squad, follow your squad around, chuck ammo kits down. You're going to get your 10 squad resupplies really fast. And if you go in certain maps like Fort DeVoe or really clustered maps like Argon Forest and just shoot through choke points, you are going to be able to get those 40 LMG kills really, really fast. Especially if you put down your bipod, you should be able to unlock this weapon within one round of conquest. If not, you can just hop into a TDM match to finish off those LMG kills. Moving on to the next weapon I thought was the easiest to unlock, the Perino 1908 Defensive. Now this assignment requires you to get 50 kills with the Bar M1918 Storm and perform 20 kills with the Repeater Pistol M1912. Now what I found was the quickest way to do this is go in a very small game mode where the main focus is to kill people. Basically, Domination, TDM, or even War Pigeons if you can find a match of that. Just equip the bar, equip the pistol, and then go to town. You're going to be able to get a lot of kills really fast because usually uh, small game modes like these last 10 minutes and under. So if you get about 10 to 15, 20 kills per round, you'll be able to finish this assignment within three to four rounds of TDM. As opposed to Conquest, sometimes you don't kill all that many people and there's a lot of stuff happening and it's focused on objective play and sometimes you're killing people with gadgets or grenades more than basic weaponry like the Bar M1918 Storm and the Repeater Pistol. And also, uh, the Bar is good for taking out single targets but not that good for taking out multiple targets. Thus why smaller game modes with less people is the best way to actually get the most out of your time. Now let's move on to the second weapon which is available for the support class in the new DLC and it is the Parabellum. Now there are also two variants for this weapon and let's start off with the easier one to unlock. So this is the Parabellum MG1417 Suppressive and it requires you to perform 40 kills with the Lewis gun low weight and perform 50 vehicle repairs. Now, what I found was the easiest way to do this is just go into a large conquest game with tanks and friends. So basically join a squad if you have friends, uh, go into a party, join a large conquest in a squad, get your one of your teammates or squad mates or friends to get into a tank and literally just follow them around or actually go in the tank with them. And when they need repairs, just jump out and start repairing them. You're going to be able to get this really fast if the tank takes damage a lot and I mean it's just gonna be so easy it's gonna be a walk in the park if you're doing this with people who aren't in your squad it can be a little bit more difficult because most of the time when they start taking damage they're gonna start driving off and it's gonna be hard for you to keep up with them also please do note that you cannot repair uh, stationary weapons to get these repair points and you also cannot repair an empty vehicle so somebody has to be in it and you have to be repairing them and then while you're doing this just keep your eyes out for enemies and equip the Lewis gun low weight and get kills while you're repairing your friendly and you should be done this assignment within maybe one or two games of conquest hopefully one game of conquest for the repairs and if you're not done with the kills hop in a TDM match finish up the kills and you'll have the Parabellum MG14 suppressive in no time. Now for the final weapon to unlock in the support class, the Parabellum MG1417 low weight with probably uh, the dumbest assignment that I've ever seen in Battlefield. So uh, they actually changed this from the uh, first assignments they put out. It used to be destroy two airplanes with the Madsen MG trench, which is absolutely fucking ridiculous. But now they changed it uh, probably because they thought it was 
pretty unfeasible for somebody to do that, so they changed it to destroy two airplanes with LMGs, so any LMG will do the trick, and perform 20 kills with the airburst mortar. Now, uh, this assignment takes quite a bit more time to do. Now, there are multiple ways for you to destroy two planes. Either always shoot at smoking planes in the air and hope to God that you get the vehicle destroyed. Um, you can actually also do the little trick where you get a friend or yourself to go onto an AA gun and soften up the plane per se, and then when it starts smoking or disabled, just hop off the AA gun and shoot it with your LMG and you'll be able to destroy it. And then we have the, in quotation mark, cheap tactic, which consists of get a friend to go on the other team, get him to grab a plane, land it somewhere, and shoot the plane till it explodes, and then you'll get the vehicle destroyed. I know it's a cheesy tactic, but I mean, it's such a dumb assignment uh, to do that, like, I don't know who thought of this, but uh, it actually takes quite a bit of time to destroy an airplane by shooting it with an LMG only. Um, so, I mean, these are the best ways I found for you to get the assignment done without too much of a headache or having to like do stupid amounts of plane shooting without playing the objectives. And I mean, if you're lying around in the match just trying to shoot down planes, it's going to be really fucking boring really fast. So this is the easiest way I found for you to be able to unlock or finish this part of the assignment. And then for the perform 20 kills with the mortar airburst or airburst mortar, uh, you can either join a match of operations or join some conquest matches like uh, some maps like Monty Grapple which have a lot of trenches so you, a lot of people like just walk in the trenches and you can just shoot the airburst mortar in there and you'll get a lot of damage and most often a lot of kills and also maps like Argon Forest, Verdun Heights are very good for getting airburst mortar kills so uh, it actually didn't take me a whole lot of time to unlock all these four weapons it took me maybe uh, three hours to unlock all of them uh, by by doing, I mean, uh, destroying two airplanes, which probably took the longest time, and also the airburst mortar kills. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any other tips or tricks on how to unlock these weapons fast. I know the <laughs> the get your friend to go into the other team and grab a plane and shoot it down technique is kind of cheesy and cheap, but I mean, it's a stupid assignment, and I think we can all agree on that. Um, so let me know in the comments down below. Also, what class you would like to see next so there is the assault class the medic class and the scout class left and also while they're down there be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already don't forget to hit that notify bell and as always thank you very much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one